Hello. Good morning. It is Monday, April 12th. It's 48 degrees in Northeast Kansas and Saturday, this last Saturday, I tried to be stubborn and move the workbench that's back there and I threw my back out. So yesterday was optimal gardening weather and I didn't get to utilize it. So this is going to be me looking at my plants after not seeing them for over 24 hours. So let's go check. Said workbench that I moved is right there. I reorganized my seed station. If you can tell, things are just a little bit different, but oh my gosh, this is growing very tall, but it's also very sad. <laughs> it probably has light that's too close and needs water. So we're just gonna go ahead and give that some water here in just a minute. Everyone else, how we doing, how we doing? Carrots are here. That's a strawberry, habanero, serrano. I got one red onion over there, another onion or two here. A couple of beets, one cilantro. That's pretty sad. Uh, sweet basil. And this side I have um, pumpkin and yellow squash here. Then the rest is peppers and tomatoes, but check this out. There's some little mushrooms growing in there, which means there's not enough air circulation. I do have a fan right here, but when I reorganized everything, I moved electrical outlets. So I need another surge protector that I can plug in. That's just gonna, um, turn off on a timer, like the whole thing, instead of turning on, oh, what happened here? thirsty. <laughs> uh, another pepper is doing something here. Sorry, I lost my train of thought, but um, mushrooms, accident, need airflow, working on it. <laughs> I really have no idea if these two pepper plants are going to produce anything. That one looks pretty dead if you ask me. Um, this one's still got some green to it. Uh, I was not anticipating below freezing temperatures for a couple of weeks in January and inside my garage. So um, I didn't provide any additional heat. So these might be a bust, but going to wait until Mother's Day weekend to try to plant those. One of the reasons I decided to rearrange my seed station is because I was having trouble getting to my watering area. And now I can just walk up to it. And now I can go back over there and water my seedlings. See how much in the way of the camera I can get. Give this baby some water, let it soak in. There's probably a much better scientific way to do this, but I just kind of um, pour it in there. If you all remember, I overwatered at the beginning of the season. So this is my attempt at uh, redemption. Just uh, kind of splashing water around and hoping that things do better. <laughs> little mats in here that I can see. Um, let's go look at some other stuff. Okay, my front garden area. Got some spinach. It could probably use some more water. Um, I just kind of sprinkled it in there. Salad greens, I guess, is what I'm going for here. Um, 
move up here. This was supposed to be cilantro. I'm thinking this is broccoli. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Sorry about the wind. That's all broccoli for sure. I planted it intentionally as broccoli. Looking good. Primrose, yellow flowers. We have oregano, sage. <sighs> My poor rosemary. Poor thing. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. Um, probably a weed right here. Probably not rosemary, but this is definitely a weed. Still waiting to see if my tulips are gonna bloom this year. They're getting closer. Uh, we're running out of time though, guys. And then the iris. Getting there. And look at the red flower. It did so good. I haven't checked on my butterfly garden. So let's take a look. And you fell over. This is a perennial milkweed. Um, everything looks okay. Added some more dirt, if you can tell. This is an annual milkweed, and it is not loving the cold nights. So sorry. But we're getting closer and closer to that last average frost date. So hang in there, little buddy. <laughs> oh, I put that in a cool place. Little lettuces are still not standing up, but they're not dead. And then we have a weed right there, and then peas. Peas, peas, peas. Still not doing much. Perhaps getting the idea that I want you to be on the trellis, though. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm expecting to see dead tomato plants over here. Well, it doesn't really look dead, but it also doesn't look very good. <laughs> My niece helped me put these up. We didn't do it together, so just kind of going back around and putting them in the ground. Garlic looks good. I have also not been able to get out here and compost yet. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Sorry if the wind is uh, making a lot of noise for you. I am surprised that these plants have not just withered. That one might not make it. They haven't withered away yet. I guess they get to live another day, right? Take a peek at the mint. Oh yeah. That's coming back for sure. dogs can hear me outside. This is a kind of mint too, but I didn't save the little thing and I don't see anything green in it, so that one's still a question mark. Never mind the trash pile. When I was cleaning out the garage, I identified some things that needed to go to the trash. And trash day is not for another three or four days. Tango lettuce. Maybe I'll get individual heads of lettuce that I can transpot somewhere else or transplant somewhere else. Pink Swiss chard, maybe? Tell me that is not a lavender. Somebody tell me. <laughs> Gotta wait for it to get a little bigger. Holy moly. <laughs> Look at these garlics. Wow. 
Wow. Uh, sweet potato slips. Oh, did something dig in here? Oh, I don't like the animals. That's a sweet potato slip. I still have some inside that I was trying to get roots before I planted them. I think something dug at this. <laughs> I'm so sad. Might need to come out here and give it some more dirt. Look at this garlic though. I'm impressed. And then there's regular potatoes over here. I did not think about putting a fence around this. Maybe I should have. <laughs> now I'm out back. Let's go check on the pumpkin cantaloupe yellow squash, squash, squash situation. Oh me, oh my, dandelions. Whoops, I need to take care of that. Ugh. Got a cantaloupe here. Which isn't looking too happy. Cantaloupe there, that one looks alright. It's just too cold yet. Grass and weeds that I was too lazy to do anything about. I should regret by now. <laughs> this is my yellow squash that's out here. It's doing okay. It's getting another leaf, but I've got lots of weeds around it that I need to take care of. Weeds is the theme of this section of the video, I guess, because there's another one. But we do have two pumpkin plants here that, <sighs> that one's pretty yellow. That one's not too bad. Um, I'm not sure if the sun just doesn't come over here very much, or maybe it's just been too cold in general. Uh, I'm not gonna give up on them though. I'm gonna leave them there. <laughs> Dandy lions are pushing up around the weed cloth. <laughs> oh no. Check on the compost bin. Lovely little wild violets or whatever they're called. Probably need to add some green. Mostly potato peels is what you're looking at. And it could just be that it's a dormant. The wind blew some trash that I need to pick up, but it might just be dormant because it's winter. So one more thing to check. I can see it from here. <laughs> An onion! This I planted last year and it never sprouted. So I gave it up for dead. And here it is this year. Uh, should be a seed. So it should be the year that I can get a bulb, not a flower. And here's another one. It's kind of hard to tell. And I think something's been chewing on it. Um, but yeah, gotta love a volunteer moment. And that's gonna be it for today. Just a short, quick little check-in since I was in bed most of the weekend, nursing my back. Um, I'll make another vlog here in the next couple days and see where everything's at. Thanks for watching.